Doctor, right now you are performing gynecomastia surgery on a young male patient. Could you explain the procedure? Gynecomastia surgery. Now, especially in adolescence, we often see male breast enlargement in young males. Due to genetically modified foods, poor nutrition, packaged foods, and rapid hormonal changes, since we are a mammalian species, males also have breast tissue. Look, this tissue you see here is glandular breast tissue. Most people think it's fat tissue and believe it can be removed with liposuction or by losing weight through exercise. But look, this fatty part here, but this white glandular breast tissue, you see, cannot be melted or removed in any way. That's why we have to remove this breast tissue from here with a normal classic surgical method. Otherwise, it won't go away. When we close this area, you see there is a large breast tissue. We perform it through a very small incision. We do not leave any large scars or social or visual scars afterward. We will remove the tissue from here. It's a same-day procedure, especially for young men socially. Sometimes we save them from a situation that could lead to bullying. We save them with a small surgery. Doctor, parents have a role to play here as well because there is a lot of gynecomastia in young boys. This condition, which we call female-type breast enlargement in males, is present in many young boys. They are often forced to lose weight by their parents because of their large breasts. But the gynecomastia problem is a different issue, and it has a surgical solution. I repeat, parents should be aware that breast enlargement in young boys is not always a sign of weight. Sometimes, even if there is no family history, hormonal foods and what we eat can cause female-type breast enlargement, creating a socially challenging situation for a young boy. Both the doctors and the family's psychological support are very important here, right, doctor? Absolutely. Doctor, sometimes young boys may avoid wearing t-shirts, lose interest in sports, and even become reluctant to go to the beach. Absolutely, this reluctance can turn into a serious phobia. It can also lead to peer bullying. This is one of the major problems I encounter professionally peer bullying. It is a very unpleasant thing. Thank you very much, doctor. The surgery went great. Thank you.